Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so as promised, I wanted to do a follow-up video on how the 6.8 Western did on my elk. Um, I posted over on YouTube uh, just a picture of the cow that I shot and was going to do a quick video on, on how things went. So um, here's what I got. Uh, I shot this cow on public land. Um, it was a 766 yard shot um, right at the last shooting hours, like last half hour shooting hours. Um, at that distance with that Nosler 170 ballistic tip, um, it was 1,870 feet per second at that distance. And this was about 6,100 feet in elevation. And at that distance, it was still carrying, uh, 1,320 foot pounds of energy respectively. Uh, I'll be honest. I missed the first shot. There was a pretty stiff, um, wind from left to right. I would say about a 20 mile an hour. And, uh, I called a little too much wind and I shot and it hit in front of her, but the elevation I saw was good. I saw the splash. Um, so elevation was good. Uh, so I just held back on her shoulder, um, uh, just a little bit to, comp to compensate for that, um, for the wind and for the overcall in the wind. And it was a perfect high shoulder shot. Um, she dropped and, uh, hit the top of her lung. And so she, it was a good death. Um, got inside the wound cavity and this is the entrance wound. Uh, I didn't get the exit wound, but the exit wound was of similar size. But it did, it was a through and through at that distance. It made a pretty big entrance hole and a pretty big exit hole. So I'm not for sure if the entrance hole was from it hitting a rib and making the hole a little bigger, or if it started to expand pretty quickly, the bullet started to expand pretty quickly once it got through the hide and into the shoulder. So. I thought the bullet did really well. Um, I was very surprised that it did do a through and through um, at that distance because Nosler advertises that bullet for like a small game. So like mule deer, antelope um, and some sheep, they really don't advertise it for an elk. At least that's what it says on the box or it shows on the box of ammo. So uh, really happy with the performance of that. Anyway, as you can tell from behind me here, I'm going to be heading out with uh, my brother-in-law and uh, a buddy of mine to eastern Montana. We're going to go hopefully chase after some big mule deer or whitetail. So um, hopefully we'll be successful with that and I can, I'll can i do another video uh, when we get back and just kind of tell you um, how things went. Um, if anything, I want to... I want to kind of walk you guys through on what I like and what I don't like about my 6.8 Western build. So there's there's been some quirks um, with it since I've been packing it around uh, the mountains for the past couple weeks uh, in my pack. So uh, just some things that I found that I like and what I don't like and um, I'll make another video on that. So awesome. Thanks you guys. I appreciate you watching. Um, thanks again for the support. I appreciate it with all the subscribes and likes um, and the comments. I really like answering you guys' questions, so keep them coming. If you guys like this content, go and subscribe. Uh, happy hunting, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.